back from Ashiana Rabbit Farm. Today we got an excellent gentleman all the way from Mysore and he wants to change his profession or rather he wants to take a new profession or a new hobby and this is Saeed Zagir from Mysore. Uh, tell me Saeed, you have come all the way from Mysore to, to Kerala, especially this is a remote place we call it Astero, nobody knows, we know the Calicut or Cochin and Trivandrum and all those places. So what made you come all the way here? It's like uh, I've been uh, analyzing the rabbit farming from uh, since two months. Mm -hmm. I've been to many farms uh, in Karnataka itself. Uh, then uh, one of my friends suggested uh, the Ashiana farm here mm -hmm. and he said that uh, Dr. Midhat, uh, he has been uh, doing uh, farming since 15 years. Okay. And he's one of the experts uh, in India. Mm -hmm. uh, why don't you speak to him and discuss the things and uh, being uh, you both are educated you can discuss more on this and get the knowledge of it okay so that's the reason i took an appointment with uh, dr midhad and uh, traveled from my to kerala all the way here yeah. now i believe that you are into a different profession entirely different profession am i right is it yeah. something to do with farming is it something to do with birds or animals or anything of that not really i'm into the, totally into technology it's i'm an it consultant oh my goodness how, how can this match because that is something people ask me as well that is I, I, I'm into two different professions and people ask me how do you match it so let me ask you that question how does it match because you're talking there you sit in front of the a machine which does not talk to you am I right and yeah. here you're talking with the animals am I right so how, how, how can you change your two different mindsets it's uh, really once you reach to the peak level of the any job I think uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you want to really switch over where you can uh, get some presence of mind a peace of mind exactly exactly and uh, I thought uh, working with nature mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. being with the animals, I think that will be the best thing which we can uh, 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 give the peace to the mind. Absolutely, absolutely. And I, I would like to tell this to the viewers. I've seen a lot of people who are coming from the IT industry, coming from the aviation industry because my background is the aviation industry. I've seen a lot of people, once they reach at a particular level, they leave their profession completely zero. They ground down and then they attach themselves to nature or it could be with uh, their passion or something. Now here in your case, it's much more passion is with animals. Is there anybody in your family who is into farming or something like no. that? Is it, is it there in your blood or how is it? How no, it not really. I, like uh, if you look at uh, my family background, maybe my three ancestors back mm -hmm. had some farming lands and things they were getting done. Mm -hmm. uh, after that, I'm the one who is starting the farming, uh, mm -hmm. both on my uh, maternal and uh, parental uh, side. Mm -hmm. It's like after three generations, I'm starting again the farming. Mm -hmm. There's no really a relationship of farming enough. Okay. Uh, history okay so do you do uh, after coming here did you go through those cds or something i think they gave you some cds and all uh they gave me the cds mm -hmm. and moreover i had a live talk with uh, mr dr peter uh, magda mm -hmm. and uh, i collected the information mm -hmm. uh, through him itself okay which was uh, like more informative compared to other uh, uh, farming rabbit farming or who was selling the rabbit farms. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. See, basically the main difference I which uh, I fed is the lack of information they are giving. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. See, they are trying to just boost up the person who has come there, mm -hmm. and uh, they want to sell off mm -hmm. and, and make him think that uh, this is a very big profitable business. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Instead of giving knowledge, mm -hmm. they are brainwashing it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, they says that uh, see, you take these animals. After uh, three months, mm -hmm. you get this much profit. Mm -hmm. But uh, they are not really telling that in these three months what you have to do it, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. which is the major difference I felt uh, speaking to others and uh, doctor. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, that is what I was looking really from last two months. Okay, uh, where I was not satisfied. Uh, uh, the reason to move so many forms is to. Uh, is lack of knowledge which I was feeling. Mm -hmm. Everyone is telling about profit. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. if it is really something machine mm -hmm. which I am buying and uh, keeping in my farm mm -hmm. and it could be producing it. Mm -hmm. It's not, it is a livestock. Yeah, absolutely. There is, should be some way of uh, thinking positive, negative. Mm -hmm. If uh, we look at a human being also, absolutely. he gets sick, absolutely. absolutely. he gets well, yep. he has got some uh, food habits, yep. Okay. he has got some reproducing cycle. Sure. These all things has to be understood. Mm -hmm. but nobody was used to give me that much information which I was looking at. I used to go through so many materials of uh, like uh, where they used to tell the details and mm -hmm. history of mm -hmm. the rabbits and uh, 
their different uh, breeds mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and always i feel that the things which i am reading and the things which i am physically getting is uh, there is some uh, gap in there mm-hmm, mm-hmm. uh, that's the main reason which i traveled to here mm-hmm. when i heard that uh, dr medha is a uh, phd in uh, rabbit farming mm-hmm. i thought he might be the right person to get my thirst mm-hmm. completed of knowledge mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, so i traveled from there to here and uh, today i was very much satisfied after speaking to him mm-hmm. uh, i got almost all knowledge and uh, like this is the first time in my last two months mm-hmm. where i was ready to say that okay today i can start the farming mm-hmm, mm-hmm. so you grab maximum you maximum know. information through him and uh, i feel confidence mm-hmm. okay this is what the rabbit farming really is mm-hmm. uh, are you are you ready to spoil your hands in the mud of course because that, that that's one thing happens you know you come from the IT and the IT sector you have in front of uh, uh, the hundreds of people in a cubic box or what okay. they call it as a concrete jungle <laughs> and stepping down from those concrete jungle and then coming into the nature keeping your cutting grasses and and feeding those animals and all Uh, do you think that it would be possible for you? I want to demotivate you. In fact, through this, through this, uh, <laughs> through this interview, I want to make sure that you don't go into the rabbit farming at all. Do, would you still go into it? No, I will go into it because mm-hmm. when we get give me give me three reasons why would you go into it? Because if you look at the financial side, it's not mm-hmm. going to help you much mm-hmm. from the IT sector. That's okay, right. Today, whatever it is, and number two, it's pain. Pain yeah. in the shoulder. Yeah. Okay. Number three, it's smelly. It's dirty. Uh, you won't be able to go with your family outside. You'll be completely involved in it. Why do you start this business? What are the three reasons which would make you shackled or glued uh, with farming animals, and especially rabbits? See, the first thing is, uh, if you look at uh, getting into the farming, means you are coming back to the nature. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, where as my background is IT, mm-hmm. where I sit twenty four by seven in uh, AC, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. which is an uh, artificial atmosphere for mm-hmm. your health. Yeah, absolutely. When you are getting into the nature, mm-hmm. it means you are naturally getting on the uh, nature. I mean, mud. Mm-hmm. You are physically getting into mud. You are uh, you are organic. Organically, you are getting strong. Absolutely. Okay, mm-hmm. and when it comes to the making our hands dirty, mm-hmm. farming is the uh, thing which gets hands dirty, and that everybody knows it. Mm-hmm. When we are changing the profession, it's for sure. Mm-hmm. And uh, rabbit is a kind of uh, animal mm-hmm. where you can make it as a pet also, mm-hmm. as well as you can. <laughs> you are into a business mm-hmm. as well. Absolutely, absolutely. Okay. Um, and more more over it is in organic food your staple food you are giving back to the society absolutely absolutely so so first time getting into the farming business have no clue at all going back are you, now just like i'm i'm just connecting you with uh, it okay i love to connect you with it now in in most of the it project you have to get approvals and approvals from your manager senior manager vp ceo etc 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 do you have to get approval from your wife or somebody in this case Uh, not uh, really to up to that extent okay but uh, see when you are uh, when you be in a family mm-hmm. it is uh, both you have to come to a conclusion absolutely absolutely uh, because you are very, very able to convince uh, she was very much happy more than me okay then okay. okay. the first uh, like four years back when i took my farm line mm-hmm. uh, she was been like uh, very happy to back into the nature because i spent most of my eight years of my career mm-hmm. into gulf mm-hmm. so you know yeah. the sand ah, absolutely absolutely <laughs> so greenery is uh, what we are missing mm-hmm. in part of our life okay so my wife is uh, more than uh, happy mm-hmm. to be into the agriculture and especially the rabbit farming absolutely that's that's great now uh, before i conclude uh, just like in it you have a plan am i right you have yeah. a goal you have a vision yeah. have you started seeing any sort of vision with regards to rabbit see uh, i have got a tentative plan okay uh, like, uh, because uh, as i said uh, after meeting to dr mega mm-hmm. uh, i am getting into a clear picture mm-hmm. uh, the t- uh, like i want to start with uh, a few animals mm-hmm. and i want to end up with a named brand into the rabbit farming that's that great. is that's my great. actual uh, mm-hmm. 
uh, aim inside the rabbit farming. Mm-hmm. I want to be a brand. Mm-hmm. That's great. That's great. That means you you are sort of seeing that vision with you. So, yeah. So you'll be having a vision and a mission statement, etc. Sure. I think I think you should be connecting IT with rabbit. Uh, probably. Uh, if I work out for a few more days, mm-hmm. I may bring up a MI system where, absolutely, <laughs> yeah, absolutely, where really absolutely. the farmers will be happy to manage it. Yeah, exactly correct. Because one of the examples I would take is a, a gentleman like, uh, um, what was his name, uh, the founder of um, Alibaba, Ma. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And, and, and he did it something for the people of China. Am yeah. I right? So, uh, if you are coming up with this farming business, especially in Mysore, which you know that there is no good farm farming, yeah. uh, I mean farmers, not 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 the farmers. I would rather say an entrepreneur yeah. who would be telling you about the foundation of farming rather than talking about uh, the high dreams and profits, etc., which you didn't get from here. You got exactly opposite. They talk about the yeah. foundation. Uh, so, do you think that uh, you can bring this farming? to different families and around maybe your close families etc do you think so i think uh, we, uh, many of the people uh, my family and around my soul are mm-hmm. near by my farm mm-hmm. i'm expecting they may start uh, in a few months mm-hmm. after mm-hmm. seeing uh, uh, the farm which i'm developing mm-hmm. and that is what my vision is Absolutely. like yeah. share the knowledge what you exactly, have got exactly 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 Exactly, mm-hmm. because you said that you you also conduct training uh, trainings in IT. Yeah, remember, right. Uh, people like you, once you come into the farming business, just like what Mikdad does, he does a lot of. Um, I call him Mikdad because he's my yeah. brother. Okay, yeah. so uh, uh, just like he does a lot of sessions, it uh, since you are being blessed uh, yeah. to talk to people, to converse with people, to connect with people. Uh, do you think that you can connect with people with regards to farming with the information that you are gathering? Yeah, I. I like to share the information with the people uh, uh, who wants to know more about the rabbit farming. Like there might be lots of people uh, having the same kind of doubts which I had Mm -hmm, to start with. mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, And uh, if instead of I'm being a a seller or a a person who is uh, marketing the rabbit farming, Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. uh, being a farmer. Mm-hmm. who don't have any profit other than uh, just sharing the knowledge absolutely absolutely so, and uh, if they can come up the hurdles which i took two months mm-hmm. and they can reach me in 15 days and came over all their doubts mm-hmm. i'll be happy enough <laughs> absolutely you, you reminded me something yeah uh, say there's an old english saying you know mm-hmm. if i give you a fish i feed you for a day if i teach you how to fish I feed you for an entire life. Mm-hmm. Now, Sayyid has taught me something. <laughs> if I give you a rabbit, I feed you for a day. But I, if I teach you how to farm rabbit, I feed you for an entire life. Thank you very much for joining me and thank you very much. It was a pleasure Welcome. having you on board. Thank you. Thanks a lot and see you next time. This is Farooq Sensei.